hole. Well done. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Didn't that look good for a long time? Yeah, good mid-range putt, this one. Right on 17 feet. This is their look at birdie. That's a fast start if I've ever seen one, Rich. That is definitely a confidence builder. And now that finds him in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Here we are in front of a par three. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful, can be extremely painful to play. Downhill all the way, when they tuck the pin over on the left-hand side, forget about it, never hit it there. Only when the pin is on the center or the right part of the green should you be taking dead aim. Other than that, center the green all day long. And choosing the eight iron here. This one's going right at the pin here. Ooh, just skin the hole, that one. This one's for birdie. That's a good putt to make that one. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Nice tee shot here. A little bit more room to the right than the players really feel like there is. However, that also brings a rough on the right-hand side of the play, and you don't want to be there, especially with this green that's set right back against the canyon. It's a difficult second shot, almost an infinite edge pool look, if you will. You really have to bear down and make sure you have a good idea of your distance control on your second shot. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. That's inside the range. Trying to make a statement early and often. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. This hole is a par four. This fairway cambers from left to right, which helps a fade on this hole. However, don't get too overzealous and pull it because that fairway bunker down the left, that sees a lot of action. Second shot is a green that pitches back towards you from back to front. That's got a lot of movement over on the left-hand side. Choosing the nine iron here. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. It's a nice reprieve, this par five. Just a little bit dog leg from left to right. Keep it shy of those fairway bunkers down the left-hand side, and almost every player will give it a go in two. This is a three-tiered green with a low area over on the left-hand side that sees a lot of action. Going with the five iron here. That's a pretty handy shot. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Six feet remaining to the cup. Ooh, nice line. And that's a great putt for an eagle. Leading by a phenomenal 12 strokes after that one. Time to face a par four now. 
This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out at the fairway bunker down the left-hand side and just hit a gentle fade off of that. Second shot here is to an elevated green. Don't go long whatsoever here. That's when the Barranca and the Canyons come into play. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Going with the pitching wedge here. And should find the surface. Taking things up a notch in this Lexi Thompson rivalry, that shot will add some fuel to the fire. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Opting for the 9-iron. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. Oh, that was straight at it the whole way. I dip my lid to you. Oh, good look at birdie here. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Going with driver off the tee. Look, it's just a straight par five, 615 yards. You got to hit a straight tee shot, a straight second shot, and hopefully hit a straight third shot. It can get challenging when they put the pin on the top left tier. That's when you can put a little too much spin on it and have it come chasing down to the front part of the green. That's no good. Just missed the hole. Four feet to the cup. They can open up their wings after this if it goes in. This one goes for eagle. And I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that eagle back at the last hole. It is. It cambers pretty good from left to right. So most players are going to take something less than driver, probably a three wood or a five wood, and try and hit a draw into that bank to slow the golf ball down. You find the fairway. The green sits slightly above you, but the difficult part about it is it's got three different sections, a front, a back left, and a back right. You gotta get your second shot spot on to have the best opportunity for birdie. Going with the eight iron here. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Still in the lead now after that hole. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. This green from the back tee looks minuscule. There's just not a lot of room on the front of it. Even the back section, which it does get a little bit wider, it still is very small. A massive shelf, top left. If you get it up there, happy days for you. If not, just find the green, two putt, make three, move on. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. This is beautiful to watch. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Let's head to the 12th hole. This 12th hole is probably one of the toughest tee shots players will face out here. They know they have to hit a good tee shot, a long tee shot, to have any chance or hope of making birdie here. You miss it a little bit out to the right. The rough over there is horrific. You do find the fairway, though. You got a green that tilts from back right to front left, making the second shot so much more imperative to not get it above the hole. Second shot, leave below the hole at all costs. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. This is one of the most interesting par fives you'll ever play. If you hit a good tee shot, find the fairway, and you have the opportunity to reach, then happy days. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach, now you've got to lay up into a low area where you're going to have a third shot that's absolutely blind. This third shot could be one of the most difficult third shots on the PGA Tour, bar none. Yeah, 
yep, that'll work. That's fine. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Oh, what a stroke. Super shot, that. Currently in first position. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Playing from 110 yards out. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at Birdie. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. As big as 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size, if you can imagine it, with a tiny, tiny landing area out there. This is possibly the meanest hole on this golf course. Not hardest, meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Oh, standing ovation after that shot. Oh, you love to see those shots land. What a play. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. This is underrated difficult. The green is big in size, but it plays awfully small because there's really small sections to this green. The front, the back right, and the top left. If you find the right section, job well done. If you don't, it's going to be a difficult two-putt, to say the least. Butting for birdie. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp for that. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Tell you, where he drove this, that's where some players are dreaming of pitching out to. This looks to be heading to the green. Oh, almost went in. And they've done it. Hold another one from way out. What a shot. Gotta love this. This player is in fuego. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Yeah, this was a gift. Wasn't expecting this. He sits in first position and a chance to ice the tournament here, holding the lead, playing the last. Mm -mm. A thing of beauty. This shot coming from around 220 yards. Oh, that was so close to going in. This is always a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. If it's up, it could be in. Well, there you have it. There's your Farmers Insurance Open champion and a great performance on a really tough track. What a victory on this South Golf Course. This player winning the Farmers Insurance Open, surviving the South.